Welcome back to the channel. Today is a bit of a different video for three reasons. One of which is I want to take wireless electricity in a slightly different way. The second is because people like to see people and here I am. And the third is that we've had quite a few bird visitors to our lake and I think it's because of the cold weather north and south. So behind me you might see a couple of hooded mergansas. We've had herons and We've had a goose, we've had all sorts coming in. But anyway, so what I want to talk about really is the way that people use wireless electricity. And you generally find we're lighting LEDs, you know, we might run things on one wire, but something's missing, and I think that thing is wanting to get into the thing, to go back to it, to have fun with it, and enjoy something, build different things. So my idea is games. So, Indoors, we'll go in in a minute, I've got the first wireless electric bowling which um, when I got it running I was mucking about the thing with a, for a few minutes trying to get a score, trying to get a point and I thought this is worth sharing so that's why we're out here at the moment, that's why I'm chatting to you we'll go indoors and take a look Back indoors, this is my test setup, I will be showing a much better version later on but for a very quick demo, here's the 1.5 volt AAA battery, switch on, place the coil wherever's wished in the play area. And the idea is to take a puck, I suppose you could call it, and try and get it to sit over the top of the coil. So by one push, there we go, it's lit up, will it stay there? Yes it does. And in the bigger version, then you'll be able to make it go straight across the top or it will go in and come back out the other side or some other way or you can put another one of these pucks across and knock one out of the way. But there's the simple overview of the effect and what happens. So the game itself is much like English Crown Green Bowling and instead of the grass, the finely cut grass, we've got water. Instead of the, the ball that they roll forwards to start off with, we've got the coil. And then instead of the larger balls, the bowling balls, we've got these puck type of things instead. So, next thing is, I'll show you the circuit diagram. All very easy and simple to do. I'll explain how I got the sizes next, just very quickly. I did want to have smaller coils like this one, but when I put foam underneath, I, I was surprised it doesn't really float very well. It, it's very low and... and <laughs> so I thought, well, what about a water bottle top? And the same thing existed. It's... I don't know if you can see through there. It's very, very low down. And I thought, oh, well, okay, then I'll make it somewhat bigger and we'll, you know, have to increase the size of the play area. So what I did was I got some tape, a roll of tape, wound 24 turns around that, and then stuck that on the top of an old milk jug bottle top. And these float really well. So that's how come I got to that size. And, of course, copied that size for the main coil. The wire used is 30AWG enamelled copper. And just a couple of notes about this circuit. What I've got is the 1.5 volt battery in a holder. I've got the circuit at the side. And then these wires run out. So we've got the 24 turns, centre tap and 24 turns. And those wires come back down to the circuit. And I've also got a metal piece there. One of those Twizzler sticks, the very thin sticks that you get would actually be better, put the wires through it. But this enables this to be positioned wherever you like. And the basic rule is that the one that, uh, the player that loses, doesn't get a point or a half point, will be able next turn to place this wherever they want to for the next go. All right, so here we have the full system and the full game. What I've got is the two player pieces on the right hand side. I've put the coil itself where I want it. I can of course move that forward and backward or left and right, wherever I want to put that. And the idea of course is to get as near to that as we can. So, 
Start off with a player one and I'll tap it from the back. Let's see where we get to. Oh, it's going across, is it good speed? Is it going to light up? And the answer is yes, but will it stay there? No, it's come out of the way. So, let's go for player two. Kick that one across. Might have been a foul. Oh, it came on. It's gone straight past. So, in fact, we've both failed to get a point. Now what we've got is 20 seconds. And wherever they land, wherever they end up, is the actual point. This one is looking dangerously close to lighting up. And will it be there for the 20 second total? There we go. The blue player gets the point. So that's how you play it. So, the loser, the one with the, the white, they get to decide where that's going to be next time for the next round. After six points, the game's over. Alright, for this shot, I've put the coil nearer to the ridge so that they might catch on it. It's also a little further back, so a bit more of a distance to go. So, let's have a see. We'll try the blue first. Oh, that's a good speed. And yes, it's come on, but will it stay there? And I doubt it very much. Is no, nope, that one's not done it. So, it's on the white. Can he get half a point? By also lighting up. Oh, will it make it? <laughs> Oh no, I don't think he's going to do it. So, that was half a point to the blue. So, for rules, half a point if you get it to light up. One of the half points if you get it to light up all the time at the end of the 20 seconds. You don't have to do the 20 seconds, it was just an idea I had. Anyway, make your own rules up, but let's see what we can do here. So, is he going to get half a point on the white? Yes, the white gets half a point. Fantastic. Let's try the blue. Oh, I was going to hit it a second time, but that would have been a foul. It's going though, isn't it? <laughs> it might have been. Oh, is it? Is it going to lie? Oh, yes, 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 it has. So indeed, half a point. So as you can see, it's simple to make, cheap to make, and a lot of fun. Let me know if you make one. I'd be very interested to know, or indeed, what you reckon of making some games using wireless electricity in a similar kind of way. See you next time.